Hi everyone. So today we have a question on integration. So as you can see, uh, here we have a question on integration and we know there are two types of integration. First is definite and second is indefinite. So clearly this is an indefinite integration because we don't have any limit on the integration sign. So let us start with the solution. So we have integration of 2 minus 3 sin x upon cos square x dx. So we can also write down this integration as 2 upon cos square x minus 3 sin x upon cos square x and then dx, right? So, what I have done, I have just separated the LCM. Now, this we can write down as this is a 2, 2 is a constant. So, that constant we can write down outside the integration. So, 2 and then integration of here we have 1 upon cos square x. We all know that 1 upon cos square x has a formula that 1 upon cos square x is nothing but sec square x, right? So, using this formula, we can write down here sec square x, right? So, this will become sec square x. Similarly, this we can write down as this is 3. Sin x upon cos square x, we can also write down as. So, also we know that uh, there is a property of integration that we can separate the integration. So, I have separated the integration here also and then 3 I have taken outside of the uh, integration because 3 is a constant. And now I can write down this sin x upon cos square x as sin x upon cos x. Here we have cos square x. So, I can also write down this as cos x and then into 1 upon cos x and then dx, right? Now, this we can write down as 2 integration of sec square x. So, integration of sec square x has a formula we all know that integration of sec square x dx, this has a formula tan x plus constant, right? So, we can write down this as integration of sec square x will become tan x. So, this is tan x, right? And then plus constant. So, that we can also write down as plus c1. So, let us write down the constant as c1. Now, this we can write down as 3 integration of sin x upon cos x. We all know that sin x upon cos x, this has a formula that sin x upon cos x is tan x, right? So, therefore, we can write down sin x upon cos x as tan x. And this is 1 upon cos x. So, as I have already written here that 1 upon cos square x is sec square x. So, therefore, 1 upon cos x will become sec x, right? And now this will become, this is 2 into tan x plus c1 minus 3 integration of tan x sec x. So, tan x into sec x we can also write down as sec x into tan x and sec x into tan x. Integration of sec x into tan x dx has a formula sec x plus c. So, this I am writing as sec x plus another constant because we have already written here uh, constant c1. So, let us write down the second constant as c2. So, therefore, the final answer we are getting is 2 tan x, okay, and then minus 3 sec x, okay, and then c1 plus c2. I can write down for both the constants c1 plus c2 as just c, where I can write down c1 plus c2 is nothing but c, right. So, therefore, the final answer we are getting is this only. Okay, so this is the answer. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you so much.